what is up everybody welcome back to the channel guys this is a new series i'm working on and i need cars by the way we'll get into that later but it's called cool fords and it's to bring you some of the more oddball kind of offerings that ford lincoln and mercury brought over the years uh namely the 90s 2000s stuff like that so without further ado let's get in today's All video right, boys so first time on the channel 2003 mercury marauder and uh these cars were pretty limited in production and uh very 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 cool they qualify as a cool ford now is it stupid fast or anything like that no but it's got a lot of really unique features and touches that just make it a cool cruiser and you know 20 plus years later hey they're kind of almost classic ish all right so starting off with the most important part as far as i'm concerned is the power plant now all your grand marquees all your crown vex as i'm sure you probably know had the 4.6 liter two valve uh which was extremely reliable engine but didn't really have much guts um the marauder of course has the four valve variant of the four six uh, rated at 302 horsepower essentially identical to the cobras um, from 99 and 01 this is a stout power plant we're going to get this thing out and drive it here in a minute but for being a 4100 pound car this engine really does a lot of good work um, i'm sure they add a little more torque in the pcm tuning and all of that good stuff but uh power is pretty daggone good for a big heavy car and uh, adds a little bit of fun factor factory dual exhaust too cool so as far as the exterior all the chrome save for around the windows was deleted for the most part the grill is blacked out got a unique front bumper here with the round fog lights got the factory 18 inch chrome wheels with the marauder logo color keyed mirrors door handles blacked out i mean it really gave it a a really sinister look the dual exhaust out the back looked really good too it, and it fits on this car it doesn't look like a afterthought add-on which i like the tip's really good and then of course you got the marauder embossed in the trunk of course all this is blacked out back here just a lot of subtle touches that make the car really look sinister and you can really tell it's not just your grandma's grandma key all right so on the interior you had a full flow through console had your bucket seats with the marauder logo on it which is super cool and then climbing in here one of the coolest features on the interior is the autometer phantom gauge here for oil and uh, volts which is really cool nice floor mounted shifter then you look at your cluster you've actually got a tack say it ain't so and the silver faces and the marauder text marauder text in the gauges again a lot of cool touches another thing i really like is they got rid of all the fake wood the inlays that they had on the doors and on the dash and all of that lots of cool steering wheel controls and you got your seat adjusters on the door so a lot of very minor touches they didn't go overboard but the interior is really cool and of course it's black which gives it that sporty look what's it like to drive so we do know the suspension was beefed up with sway bars springs and shocks some of which came from the p51 police interceptor crown victorias um just to you know add give it a little bit of added stability and then of course the larger wider 18 inch wheels and tires add a little bit let's get it out and see what this thing's all about Big comfy car, 
chassis is super comfortable. But the main question is, does it have any ass? Well, let's see. muscle car days gives it something very cool very unique makes it a cool Ford <laughs> beating with the heart of a Cobra this big it's a big girl I mean let's be honest but it's still so much fun to drive One thing I must say about these cars is the ride is awesome. Like, they're super comfortable. They're super spacious. Like, big or small, you're gonna have plenty of room in this car. And uh, this is something you wanna take on, like the Hot Rod Power Tour or a drag and drive event, something like that. And there again, Add some, uh, add some boost via a takeoff blower from a 2304 Cobra, something along those lines, and then the fun factor really, really takes off. One place this car is actually quite a bit more fun because it's a 4,100 pound car is from a roll. It, it's got enough torque and enough gear that it can get going, so let's check it out. Hey guys so there you go that is the 2003 2004 mercury marauder super cool car um they are getting more expensive they are getting harder to find and um a lot of them were abused and a lot of them were put up there's not a whole lot in between this specific car is kind of in between as you can see overall it's a pretty good survivor um but you've got some some paint work that needs done on the bumper and stuff like that overall it's not horrible but it's not great either uh, we've seen some with destroyed interior destroyed body uh, and we've seen some that have zero miles and the prices are pretty much all over the map but again overall a super super cool car great riding car and bolt a terminator supercharger on it or something like that and you've got something extremely fun all right, guys, so there you go, the Mercury Marauder, badass ride. Now, look, guys, I'm looking for other cars like this, like the Taurus SHO, uh, the 90s Thunderbird Super Coupes and Turbo Coupes, uh, cars along those lines that there aren't many of them left. They're 20 to 25, 30 years old, um, something other than Mustang, cool stuff Ford put out back in the day. So if you've got one around the West Tennessee, Middle Tennessee area, 
give me a shout love to check it out and do a review so if you guys like the cool ford series big thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button we'll catch you on the next one